What is going on, you guys? Thanks for stopping back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the recent news uh, surrounding Hal Let Loose's acquisition from Black Matter to Team 17. Black Matter being the developer and creator of the game, Team 17 is the publisher, but uh, Team 17 has been slowly building its portfolio of actual game studios in an effort to become um, a game creator more than just, just a publisher. And with the uh, purchase of Hell Let Loose, um, that is definitely going to become a focal point for them. And, and this is definitely good news, and we're going to get into the specifics uh, right now. So before we go too far forward, um, it's important to note that Black Matter is not going to stop working on this game anytime soon. Um, they will be working hand in hand with Team 17 on the continued development of new content. And that roadmap that we talked about earlier, that's all that's still going on. This, this doesn't really change anything other than um, what is possible for this game in the more distant future. Um, as it stands right now, all the things that have been laid out uh, going forward for the next year are still all going to happen and all going to happen and potentially maybe going to happen slightly faster. But um, this was clearly something that had been you know, in the works for a while and it's just only been made public recently. So just want to get that out of the way before going forward. So with Team 17's uh, acquisition uh, of Hell at Loose for up to 46 million pounds, which me simply means that uh, there's a part of this is, is dependent upon the performance of the game over the next two years. 31 million is guaranteed, 15 million if the game performs up to certain standards that we don't have the, all the official details on. But um, roughly translated to about 62 and a half million dollars. Um, Team 17 also published, or I'm sorry, also purchased a small uh, American games publisher, the label, uh, for about 24 million. So they've spent uh, about a hundred million dollars um, in the last week buying up games and games publishers. And uh, that's probably a good thing for the future of this game. And the reason is because uh, when you're talking about uh, the kind of things you need going forward to continue development, to continue to create content on a on a good schedule, um, having a lot of extra money at your disposal is never a bad thing. So if you're a fan of this game, I would be very, very happy to see this. And um, I can't wait to see what they've got in store for us going forward through the, through the new year. Um, yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. I hope this was a little bit informative for you. Uh, we will see you very soon.